just like that we already got another trailer for tekken 8 man bandai namco they are not playing no games over there king has officially been revealed and he has a trailer okay we just got the law trailer about three days ago so they're starting to go at rapid pace now you know they're moving um i'm assuming after king we're probably gonna get jack and then Lars, because Lars was also revealed, quickly revealed. So we're probably going to get Jack and then Lars or vice versa, whatever. And then we're going to start getting into characters that we haven't seen yet, you know. But for now, we got the new trailer to King. So let's go ahead and see what's popping over there. Now, one thing I always hated about King, I'm not going to lie, is the fact that once this man grabbed you, if you came across a King player who really knew what they were doing, once he grabbed you, it was game over. GG's, bucko. This man could slam you until your health bar is no more. We're gonna see what King has, man. I'm sure he's still getting gully, bro. Uh, I didn't see too much on his redesign when we quickly saw him in previous trailers. Um, but we're gonna see what he's about, man. I'm excited to see what he is, man. Before we get started, though, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also follow that thing up with a like because it helps the kid out. Let's get it. Monday Namco. Alright, King, show me something, man. Show me something. This man about to be lethal. I already know. <clears throat> Get ready for the next God damn, that thing got allowed. Six pack chiseling. Yeah, he got a little fur on his cape. A little, a little different. A little difference. He got a little fur on his cape. That's new. Little medallions on his neck. That's new. Armor right through that. I don't care. I don't care what you throw. Hold that. Mm. They go to grabs. Ah! Little pedigree action? Oh my god. I love how they're just showcasing how much this guy. Oh my. Oh, oh my god. That combo is filthy. I remember that though. I'm in control in the crowd. Oh yeah. Beat Paul up. Him in that dumb hair. Hold that. Armor throwing it all, bro. He does not care. Oh, pile driver? Stone Cold. No, that wasn't really a stunner. Kind of like it, though. Damn. 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 Hold that. Okay, here goes the Rage Art. Oh, let's go up. Let's go up with it. What in the hell kind of hold? <laughs> what the hell kind of hold was that? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, 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 okay. First things first, man. We know the trailer is over. First things first. Let me check anyways, because you never know with these trailers. They could always ask some at the end. I just like to skim through it just to make sure. But anyways, first things first, man. You know. King is kinging, bro. King is kinging. He, he he came here and we knew exactly what he was going to be about. He's going to be about the grabs. He's going to be about the slams. He's going to be about the pedigrees. He's going to be about the pile drivers. He's going to be about the armors, okay? Armoring through all your attacks because King just doesn't give a f You know, he doesn't care, bro. Um, He definitely looked very wrestling like. I'm not going to say, like, one thing that I would compare it to, like, in Street Fighter VI, right? Zangief just recently got shown. And in Street Fighter VI, although Zangief has been in so many, I mean, since the very beginning of Street Fighter, he's always been there. In Street Fighter VI, we always knew Zangief was like a wrestler, but in VI, he looks a lot more like a wrestler. You know what I mean? Just simply through his animations and stuff like that, the way he's throwing kicks and doing grabs, he looks very more wrestler-like in comparison to the Street Fighters prior to that. But one thing about King is, King has always looked like a wrestler. As far as his animations and stuff goes like that. Obviously, with Tekken 8 coming out, everything is a lot more polished and improved. But he still looks very wrestler-like, you know what I mean? So, King looks good. King looks good. His grabs look like they hurt, as always. I saw a couple of new grab moves in there, too, when he grabbed you, threw you back, and you landed on his kneecaps with your back, the little backbreaker action. I saw a couple of new grabs in there, a couple of little new combos in there. Um, but his rage art, I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't like his rage art at all, if I'm being honest with you. This is probably the very first rage art that I've seen from these character trailers that we've been getting in Tekken that I just completely didn't like. I felt like it was like a big buildup 
and the end of the rage art just didn't match the hype like he threw you up super high in the air and then he grabbed you and came down with a weird grab i don't know what that was but i kind of want to just run that rage art back just to see it again yeah see he like sets it up and it looks so like get ready for this you know what i mean he catches you throws you up super high chases you grabs you spins you and then he just puts you in this weird hold like <laughs> That's such a, I don't know, like, it's just such a weird way to end the finisher. Like, I don't know. I wasn't too crazy. I didn't like that rage art at all, to be honest, bro. I think they could have did a lot better with King, given what he does as far as grabs and slams go. They could have ended that a lot better. That's just a weird position for you to be in for a finisher, you know? Should have been a lot more impactful. But, hey, them King players is still going to come out, bro. Them King players is still going to King you when it comes time for to play in Tekken 8, so... I don't care, bro. You know what I mean? I'm just looking forward to the next person. Um, I'm, I'm waiting to get out of the characters that we've already seen as far as these character trailers go. I'm ready to see who the new characters that haven't been seen or announced yet are going to be. I really want to get Huarang. I really want to see what Huarang looks like. I didn't like his design in Tekken 7, his new design with the eye patch and stuff. I hated that design. So I hope they completely scrap that design and give Huarang, you know, back to the basics. Give him that martial arts gi again. Give him that korean gi that he had bro or just you know kind of remix that into a new modern style you know i'm excited to see who rang i'm excited to see steve fox because steve fox better be uh making an appearance again i'm excited to see june june kazama will be dope and along with all these other characters along with new characters you know what i mean so i don't know king was cool i wasn't i didn't like his rage art at all though but for the most part he was pretty cool um i'm expecting to see lars or jack next jack or lars lars or jack whoever but we know who the next two character reveals are going to be these character reveals are actually coming super fast like i said lars i mean law just came out three days ago so that's two characters in one week now so now that we already know that lars and jack are going to be the next one they might do the same thing and throw another two characters for the following week give us another two trailers for the next following week and then we get into the new character so hey man i'm excited i'm excited for tekken 8 in a whole bro but let me know what you guys guys thought about king's trailer um and in the comment section down below and of course if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow that thing up with a like y'all gotta be good take it easy be safe love y'all peace